What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson and I'm a product designer at Cash App. Today, I'm going to show you how to design and prototype a segmented toggle. Let's dive in. Segmented toggles are also called segmented controls. If you want to learn more about them, I'd recommend reading Apple's human interface guidelines to get a better understanding. Essentially, it's multiple buttons in, within one component that can allow you to choose one or multiple options from a preset list. The example I'm going to show you today is a tip component, which is used to choose how much you want to tip someone, whether checking out in person or on an e-commerce site. The first thing I need to do is create the individual buttons. Let's start by creating some text. I'll add the text label. I'll set this to 16 pixels, 22 pixels. And then I'm going to apply auto layout. We'll set the spacing between to zero. We'll change the left and right padding to 12. And we'll reduce the vertical padding to eight pixels. Let's rename this frame normal. And that will be the default state of this component when you've not hovered on it or clicked on it. Now let's create the hover state. Let's have this be a slight gray fill like this. And then I'm going to take both of these actually and apply an eight pixel round to them. I'm going to call this hover. And then I'm going to duplicate this one more time. And I'm going to call this active. I'm going to change the fill color to be that same purple that you saw in the title card of this video. And I'm going to change this to white. And then I'm going to take all three of these, select them, go to create component set. Let's call this toggle button. We'll rename property one to state. Now, if I take this and duplicate it, I can select a normal, hover, or active. One last thing we need to do here is prototype these. So let's select this, go to prototype, click and drag on this little blue icon that appears, bring it over to here and say, while hovering, change to state, hover. We'll set the easing at 150 milliseconds, ease out. We won't view what this looks like in the prototype right now, but you'll see how it comes together in a second. Now let's create our actual toggle. I'm gonna to take three of these labels. I'm gonna set the first one to $1, second one to $2, $3. Let's make one of these the selected one because there will need to be a selected option by default. Now I'll select all three of these, apply auto layout. Let's reduce the spacing between to zero. But you'll notice that this is a bit narrow and also there's no background here. So let's create a fill. We're gonna set this to a very slight gray like this. Let's add four pixels of horizontal padding and four pixels of vertical padding. Let's change this to be 10 pixels. And you'll notice that this component looks pretty narrow right now. So let's go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. I'm gonna set the width to 320 pixels wide. You'll notice that none of these elements fill the space. I select all of these. I go to the area that says frame down to this horizontal resizing box. Click, go to fill container. And you'll notice that all of these fill the container space. One last thing that we need to do is take all the text from our initial component and center it. Now let's click and select these. And we'll reset all changes, but you'll notice even though we set the text to center, it's still not filling the component. The reason is because we need to take this and set this to fill container. Now if I drag this out wider or narrower, the text will stay centered within each component. Let's set this back to 320. And one last thing that we'll do is we'll add a label on top. We'll call this tip, we'll left align it, We'll reduce the line height here, and then we'll add eight pixels of spacing between this frame and the label, and we'll just name this tip. Now let's look at how this feels in a prototype. I'm going to take this component and put it within an iPhone frame. So I will set this width to 375 by 812. I'm going to name this phone. Let's set, change this background a little bit, a little bit darker. I'm going to paste this component in the center. I'm going to go to prototype, select this, click flow starting point, and then I'm going to hit play. Now if I prototype this, you'll notice that the hover states work, but if I click and select this, it changes this fill color, but it doesn't remove the other fill. Now what I need to do is create multiple components out of this tip component. First I'll take this, I'll duplicate it three times. I'll go back to design, change this to active, change this to active, 
change this to normal, change this to normal, and I'm gonna rename these. So I'll rename this one, two, three. I select all of these. I go to create component set. We'll call this toggle property tip amount. Now what I need to do is link all of these components to each other. So if I go to the $2 and I'm going to go to on click, change to, we'll go on click, change to. We'll repeat this, 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 this last one as well. Now that we've got everything linked up, I'm gonna create a frame. I'm going to make it the width of the iPhone, which is 375 by 8112. We'll go to prototype, make this a flow starting point. I'll put this in the middle just for ease of use. Here, click play, prototype will load. And then you can see I've got a nice snappy to segmented toggle. If you want to make this a little bit smoother, what you could do is you could go back to the prototyping and you could switch this to say 300 milliseconds. We'll do this to each of the prototyping instances. And that's it. You now have a segmented toggle component that you can really easily change the values of. And also, if you wanted to, it's really easy to add another value here. Change this to four. And you could add that for each of your component instances. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of how segmented toggles work, how to design them, and more importantly, how to prototype them. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.